Here we are on hard sale and we're playing as Hans, who has a shotgun for a hand basically. And his ability is that you can disrupt other people's abilities, which is very useful Success. actually. I think Hans is one of my favourite to play as. He's a good counter to Larson's because he can stop them from vanishing. Uh, his shotgun hand is very powerful close up and it's good at long range as well with its alt fire which is like a slug. Now I always try to play it slow at the start usually. It's pointless to get into a big brawl at the start. Right, so... Oh, there's a One blue the keycard. That's nice. I'll be on the lookout for players here because they usually come into the green rooms quite quickly. Pathetic security. Facts a bunch. Now, since I've got a blue key card, I would like to get into a guard room. I need to get a guard's identity first, really. Right, that's a player there. But I don't want to just go in because I don't have a guard's uniform on. Because then they'd all it would draw attention to me. So I'll try and steal one discreetly and then run in. Maybe that one. Okay, that looks like a player in front of me because they're running uncharacteristically and opening a drawer. So I'm not going to steal the identity in front of that guy. Although he just did what I was going to do. So now I'll follow them. Oh, but now that's another player who they're chasing. Yes, um, kill each other for me, please. Thank you. And that's why I don't fight out in the open, if I can avoid it. Right, I'm a bit behind now because there's only one vault terminal left. And I don't really have that much stuff. Now, when I'm walking, I don't change the direction I'm pointing in much because that's a big giveaway as to who's a player and who isn't some of the time. Like, NPCs don't wobble that much when they're walking in a direction. You have to walk with purpose. Like you're carrying a clipboard going to do some safety checks. Door stoppers. I'll try and loot this place because it's um, right beside one of the doors to the vault. I, I stopped there because if it opened up and that was a player, then they'd have probably shot at me immediately. Right, let's go in now. I had to do that because you might have been a player. No 
Okay, I must have revived him there by accident. This is dodgy now. Someone's here. Okay, he might try and tell um reappear beside me. Or behind me. There he is. Okay, I don't know what his strategy was there, because it wasn't a good one. And this is the last vault terminal. So we've at least killed two so far, and somebody killed another one. Vault open. You know what to do. So at most there's probably only like five players around still. Probably less. Okay, no one behind us. So we can just bomb it in, pretty much. I don't have a purple or a gold key card, which is unfortunate. Just getting intel so I can get through a purple door if I have to. This looks like a player because he's running towards a guard door. Considering Hello. He couldn't vanish away because I disrupted him. Getting cover. Right, he had some good stuff. Saving some intel by digging this. Yeah, that was that was lucky. Unfortunate result. She was following me a bit too close, which made me One suspicious of, the most of her. Valuable things here. Right, well now we've got everything. Just taking what's mine. Now we can just go and uh, get the briefcase. I think we've killed four now. Initializing rival agent detection mode. Okay, that looks like a red over in that direction. Rival agent detection mode. I'll try and take her by surprise. Rival agent detection mode started. Damn it, guards! Don't even try. Lucky I ran in there because there was a guy there. Leave me alone, guards! I've got bigger problems. Right. Okay, we're not in a great situation. Okay, he's put down a, a disruptor thing. Just taking what's mine. Right, the um, right, the car didn't get called, so that means. There should be another one alive somewhere, but I can't see them. 
They might be AFK, but normally they're just camping somewhere. Rival agent detection mode started. Some people don't really try to get into the vault and they just kind of try be to camp careful. you at the, at sure the you exits. Although it's generally not very good people that do that though. So they're normally easy to get past. The exception is some ace players which are quite annoying. Did they pay they for just get somewhere high and try to snipe and then rush you down. So I'm trying to make sure I've got as much intel as I can before I go out. Dogs would do a much better job. It's probably me being a bit too cautious. Rival agent detection mode activated. Yeah, so there there is someone. They might not actually know what they're doing, but we'll see, because they seemed quite far away there. I'd expect them to be out, outside one of the entrances. So I'm um, trying to fool them a bit here. I'm trying to let them think I'm going one way because they get updated every so often on my position when, when you've got the briefcase. Rival agent detection mode started. Right, so there that pinged me for them. Gonna ping again. Now well, I don't see them so I'm just gonna getting mixed in with the herd. Just gonna um call the car down and then try and camp them. Activating rival agent detection mode. Okay, don't see them. That's probably a good sign for me. Uh, when you call in the car, it's important not to sit on it. Because a lot of people expect you to do that. Ah, oh, he's coming now. But he's too slow. Better luck next time, loser. In the end, I am victorious, always. We did it, we're the best. <laughs>